Fair use and effect. Hot dog. We're talking about raunchy rapper Sukiana. Hot dog. Your girl Sukiana just put out her new single called, Suki Suki. And we ain't hatin' on a girl for monetizing her talents. The song is a hit. We just want to take a moment to point out that Suki Suki is another song that promotes women to hop on the escort life trend. The song starts off with Sukiana rapping that her nookie is sweet like cookie. She says that she is no rookie, they need to get with her bookie. If they want to jump off the dresser, they need to book her. She continues to explain that she needs a man who is going to give her money because she needs to wear luxury name brands like Gucci, Prada, Chanel, and Fendi. She further raps about the occupation of her dream man. She says, she needs a rapper, trapper, and ninja getting money like he is playing for the NBA team the Toronto Raptors. She even goes as far as saying that she will accept scammers and dope dealers as her man. Hot dog. Why isn't anyone calling Sukiana an industry plant whose main purpose is to lead women into sin? Why is Sexy Red getting all of the blame? I mean, if we are being real, R&B singers like Rihanna and Beyonce need to be getting blamed too. I mean, let's be real. Rihanna and Beyonce are just the highbrow escort type of vibe, while Sexy Red and Sukiana are the lowbrow escort type. But in the end, escort life is escort life. And an S-worker is an S-worker. They are all leading women into being promiscuous, and they are all leading women into living in sin. Did you know that jumping off the dresser with someone you aren't married to is the only sin that is directly against your body? Anyway, why is Sukiana promoting girls to choose a life partner based upon the amount of money that they make? The love of money is the root of all evil. Therefore, you will never ever find peace, love, and happiness in a man just because he brings home the bacon and gives you a monthly allowance. Most of the time, these type of men allow you to buy luxury items because it reflects highly on them. When you are out and about with them, you are a walking billboard for other women to want to get with him. She is going to want what you have, and if he is the reason that you are living large, then she is going to take a bite out of that pie too. Who in their right mind wants to spend their life trading their peace of mind for a Birkin bag? Is this how low we value ourselves? I mean, there are a lot of victimized lonely women living in mansions, dripped in diamonds and pearls. Yet, they are not happy, and they don't have peace and love, because they are nothing but property to their man. So please, don't choose a man based upon how low he is willing to go to attain money. Those are actually the type of dudes that you need to run from. Money brings power and a lot of insecure people seek power to feel good about themselves. Like this video. Tag a friend. Come on, subscribe now.